In the previous lecture, we saw the working of AC power supply system and now in this lecture, we will understand why there is power cut when there is short circuit. We are using a transformer to step down 11 kV to 400 volt. We are using this transformer as step down transformer to step down 11 kV to 400 volt and on the primary side of this transformer we are having three phase three phase three wire system there are three wires and on the secondary side of the transformer where we are getting 400 volt we have three phase four wire system there are three wires as in primary side they are red yellow and blue and addition to this three wires we also have one extra wire which we call as neutral and we already know how the connection is made if we have to supply power to a house so let's take two houses for our analysis this is the first house and let's assume this house is getting its power when it is connected to red and it is connected to neutral so this house is connected between a red line and neutral there is another house H2 and this house is not connected between red and neutral but it is connected between yellow yellow and neutral this is house 2 on the primary side of the transformer we have air brake switch on the primary side we have switch which we call air brake switch this air brake switch is closed under normal operations and on the secondary side we have fuse we already know what is a fuse so on the secondary side we have fuse like this and let's say the rating of fuse is 12 ampere so whenever there is current greater than 12 ampere flowing through the line the fuse will blow up for example in red line if there is current equal to 13 ampere then this fuse will go but fuse in yellow line and fuse in blue line will work we saw two voltages in the last lecture the first one was line voltage and the second one was phase voltage and the relation between line voltage and phase voltage was VPH equal to VL over root 3 we will derive this relation in the coming presentation the phase voltage is equal to the line voltage over root 3 and as you can see the secondary side of transformer is giving us 400 volt which is the line voltage the voltage between red and yellow will be 400 volt voltage between yellow and blue will be 400 volt and voltage between red and blue will be 400 volt now let's talk about phase voltage the phase voltage is voltage between red and neutral yellow and neutral blue and neutral so between red and neutral we will get 230 volt why 230 volt because VL is equal to 400 volt and when you divide 400 by root 3 you will get 230 volt in the same way voltage between yellow and neutral will be 230 volt and voltage between blue and neutral will be 230 volt now look H1 is connected between red and neutral and H2 is connected between yellow and neutral between red and neutral the voltage is 230 volt so house 1 will get 230 volt of voltage and house 2 will also get 230 volt of voltage because between yellow and neutral the voltage is 230 volt so this point is clear now we will try to understand what will happen when there is short circuit in house 1 let's say there are three appliances in house 1 the first appliance is television, the second one is washing machine and the third one is air conditioner. And we will connect these three appliances in parallel manner. We will connect 
the three appliances in parallel manner. This means we will connect all the three appliances between red and neutral. This is red and this one is neutral. And now we will enter in the first house. You can see all the three appliances are connected in parallel. This line is neutral and this line is red. So the voltage across the three devices are 230 volt because they are connected in parallel. Now there is one homework problem for you. You have to tell me what will happen if we connect the three devices in series. I will show you how the connection will look. This is red line. This one is neutral line. First television is connected. Then washing machine is connected. And then AC is connected. This is how they will be connected in series. You have to tell me what will happen, whether they will work or not. And this is your homework problem. Once you have your answer, post it in comment section. And now we will analyze what will happen if there is short circuit in air conditioner. Before this, let's say the rating of television is 115 watt. 115 watt. This is the power rating. Rating of washing machine is 230 watt and rating of air conditioner is 2.3 kilowatt 2.3 kilowatt from this we can easily calculate the current drawn by all the three appliances for television the current drawn the current drawn let's say the current is i tv is equal to 115 watt over the voltage which is 230 volt when you solve this you will get 0 0.5 amp as the current drawn by the television so 0 0.5 amp is the current and for washing machine you will get you will get 1 amp because 230 watt divided by 230 volt is 1 ampere and for air conditioner you will get 10 ampere so what is the total current drawn by the house 1 the total current will be 0 0.5 ampere plus 1 ampere plus 10 ampere so the total current is 11.5 ampere which is below the rating of the fuse which is 12 ampere and we are taking one hypothetical situation because generally you will have fuse in your house so we don't have to worry about the fuse of the transmission line but here there is no fuse in the house and we are taking 11.5 ampere current to run the three appliances and the rating of fuse is 12 ampere. So if the current drawn by house 1 increases from this value and the increased value is greater than 12 amp then the fuse will blow and this may happen when there is short circuit in any of the three appliances and we already assumed there is momentary short circuit in air conditioner when there is momentary short circuit heavy current will flow and due to this heavy current 11.5 ampere is no longer the current drawn by the house number one this current will increase and it will exceed 12 amp in this scenario the fuse will blow and the connection will break so there will be no power in house one in house one power is gone but in house two there will be power because house two is connected between yellow and neutral so there will be power in house 2 and there is no power in house 1 and this happens sometime sometimes you will have no power in your house but when you look out of your window you will find there is power in your neighbor's house so you will call the electricity board they will send the technician and as soon as the technician comes before repairing or before even touching any part of the transformer or the transmission line he will open the air brake switch so the air brake switch is now open and in this scenario there will be no power to house 2 also there will be no power to house 2 also because you can see the circuit is open and there will be no power if you have a house connected between yellow line and neutral or even blue line and neutral the electrician will replace the burned fuse and he will install a new fuse in the red line and once the installation is complete he will close the air brake switch and in this way the power 
will return to house 1 as well as house 2.